all living creatures on earth, including humans, are made up of a vast amount of cells. These cells are considered as the basic units of life. When the human body needs to develop or repair damaged tissue, human DNA has to replicate in order to produce new cells that carry the necessary genetic information. An aspect of DNA replication is protein synthesis or polypeptide synthesis. All human cells are made up of different parts and structures. And one of the most important parts is the nucleus. Within the nucleus is a genome that is split into 23 pairs of chromosomes. Each of these chromosomes has a strand of deoxyribonucleic acid, also known as DNA. Within these strands are different sections, which are called genes, which contain the necessary information to eventually make a protein. The double helix structure of DNA is made up of a sugar phosphate backbone. as well as multiple base pairs. The base pairs are cytosine that goes with guamine and adenine that goes with thymine. A enzyme called DNA helicase unzips the double helix by breaking the hydrogen bonds between the base pairs. The previous double helix structure of DNA is now two parent strands. Only one of the strands carries the vital information needed to make a protein. This is known as the non-coding strand or the sense strand. The other strand that doesn't carry the genetic information is called the anti-sense strand. Next, RNA primase adds a primer to the sense strand of DNA. RNA nucleotides enter as complementary base pay, complementary bases and will become messenger RNA. The assembling of RNA nucleotides is controlled by the enzyme called RNA polymerase. The original DNA is a determining factor in the sequence that the free bases are added to the messenger RNA. This process is known as transcription. Cytosine still goes with guamine, but adenine now goes with uracil. The RNA, mRNA leaves the nucleus through a nuclear pore or a nuclear envelope and enters into the cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, it will meet and bind with ribosomes. In the active side of the ribosome, where the ribosome reads the code of the mRNA and produces a chain of amino acids. Eric. There are 20 possible amino acid molecules like methionine, serine, or glycine. Transfer RNA molecules carry the amino acids to the mRNA. The bases are temporarily read three at a time and are coded accordingly. As example, the messenger RNA, AUG, is complementary with the triplet UAC, AUG, from mRNA, is known as the codon, and the UAC is from tRNA, and known as the codon, and UAC is from T. RNA and is known as an anticodon. The amino acids and the tail end of tRNA start to link together to form a polypeptide chain. 
the tRNA carrier splits and moves into the cytoplasm to pick up new amino acids. The chain elongates the process stops when a stop codon is reached. There are three, and for the video we will use UAA, a protein called a release factor binds directly to the stop codon. The release factor causes a waller molecule to be added to the end of the polypeptide chain, and the chain separates from the last tRNA. The protein is complete, and the mRNA is broken down. The ribosome splits into its large and small subunits. The protein is sent for final processing into the endoplasmic reptilium and Golgi apparatus.